everyone welcome back to dog q a and today we're going to continue on our journey in building engagement with your dog so last week we talked about what it is why it's important and it's basically getting your dog to pay attention to you no matter what else is going on and so today we're going to add a little bit to what we did last week so last week we did a teaching of eye contact or the focus cue as some call it and the way you start by doing that, I'll just do a little recap, is to have your dog look at you by holding a treat up to their nose, lure it up to your eyes, and then once they look into your eyes, you give them a marker word like good, yes, something like that, and then give them the reward. So it would be like this, Sammy, look, good, and then reward, all right. So that's the beginning. So if you haven't done that yet with your dog, go back, watch the first video, do that for a week first, because today we're gonna add on to that. So um, we also added a cue word to that. So your dog should know the word by now and what it means, which is looking into your eyes. Last week, we also talked about how, how do you know if your dog's looking at the treat or looking at you? And you don't, the way you figure that out is once you teach your dog the word, now you can try it with the treat behind your back. Sammy, look, good. So I wait for him to look into my eyes on his own without the treat there, and then mark it with good, and then give him the treat from behind my back. Okay, so now we're gonna move to more of a capturing uh, the behavior, which is sort of standing and waiting for your dog to look at you on his own. Now, some dogs are more prone to doing this on their own, like herding breeds, give great eye contact. Um, shepherds are good at this. Oh, good. So Sammy just did it there. I'm gonna um, mark it and reward. So when you capture a behavior, it's just sort of waiting for your dog to do it and then marking and rewarding. Okay, so now we're gonna take this to a little bit more distracting environment and I'll show you how to work in a little bit higher distraction. We don't wanna to go to like a dog park today, but we're just gonna move from the backyard to the front yard. Okay, get my microphone cord here. All right, buddy, let's go. Good boy, Sammy. Okay, Jeremy, lift your right foot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, buddy. Good boy. Okay, so this is a place that Sammy is um, used to going through on his walks, but we don't typically come out here to do a lot of work. So when you come out to a more distracting place like this, you kind of want to do a refresher with your dog and start from the beginning a little bit. So just remind him of what um, you're doing. Sammy, so I'm going to show him I have a treat so that I become more exciting than anything else, hopefully. And then I'm just going to ask for his cue word. Sammy, look. Good. Now, if your dog won't do that right away, try the luring. Go back to that a few times and then ask for the word with your treat behind your back. If your dog still can't do it, it means you may have moved a little too fast. Go back to your backyard, work another um, few days or a week on that, and then come back out and try again. Okay, so now we're gonna try just waiting for Sammy to offer this behavior. And we have a lot of good distractions out here. We have smells, we have lots of wildlife, we've got people and cars. Oh, almost good so he gets wind of the treat i'm going to get him out of my cord here sammy okay all right <laughs> and so once he figures out there's food involved he's more likely to look at me so i'm just going to wait a minute and see if i become more exciting than the environment good so the second he looks up at me he gets a marker and a reward. So that's step two in our building engagement with your dog. 
So try that this week. So move to your higher distraction environment, remind your dog of what you're doing, and then see if your dog will look at you on his own and then you can mark and reward that. Okay guys, happy training. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.